Okay, today we're going to review the uh, Laser Revolution uh, full face helmet. It's a convertible where the, uh, the chin bar comes off. Also has uh, ear covers, side covers, and also actually comes with an extra visor too. Um, it's not your normal slide eye type box. It uh, you know, has the opening on top there. You can see here some of the features on the uh, uh, helmet. All right, well, let's uh, take it out of the box and see what it looks like. All right, so the pull tabs come out. Box lifts right up and pull the helmet out. All right. Get that out of the way briefly. Get it out of the bag. Okay, well, there it is uh, with the face guard on there. Say so it's not too bad looking the helmet. Um, I initially saw some reviews for this. It uh, kind of makes you look like you should be in a Star Wars movie, but it um, doesn't look too bad with the face guard on it. Uh, let's see what else it comes in a box. A bunch of other parts in here. Let's see. It comes with, uh, looks like it comes with an extra visor. Um, looks like it's a little bit shorter than what's on there, so I think the visor's a little bit too long. Gives you an extra length for it. Also, if you... Uh, Take the face guard off. You have uh, you know, it's attached with three screws. So when you uh, remove it, there's a blank uh, cover plate. I'm not actually uh, pulling them out of plastic just yet. Um, snap right over. Also has uh, ear guards that uh, go over there if you want to uh, have some ear protection. I guess it can give you a little bit of protection in case you fall. Or if um, imagine also might be good if you're riding in cold weather. So um, nice. They kind of give you. a a lot of extra parts with this, um, not too bad a deal. Okay, continuing on with the laser revolution, uh, here's the helmet. I've removed the screws that hold the uh, uh, chin guard on. I'll show you how it comes off. There's uh, three alloy screws that fit in here and there's three that fit on the other side. I say the helmet doesn't look too bad with it on. Uh, go ahead and pull it off. This is what you're left with. Um, there are there is a blank cover that goes over just this part of the helmet. There's also covers that go over the entire ear. Um, so they're, they got to say they look a little bit odd. Um, it really makes you wonder if you should be a in the latest Star Wars movie coming up here. So, but you know, is that if you really want the ear covers, you don't have to use them. I probably wouldn't use them unless it was uh, maybe some cold weather riding. But there's just a basic cover that goes over the front of there. Okay, so here's the rest of the helmet. It's got a lot of a lot of features to it. It's got a uh, camera mount on top there. You can mount it in a couple spots. You undo these screws, you can slide it back a little bit. Evidently, I think it's also designed to break off in case you were actually to crash. Um, looks like it has pretty ab aggressive uh, venting in it. You know, it uh, definitely looks like it uh, will, will stay cool on your head. Um, mine on the inside uh, a little bit interesting. Covers the whole helmet. Uh, it's pretty, it's very nice padding. Uh, goes all the way around the helmet, goes around the front. Um, the only thing is it doesn't seem to, this padding seems to stop right up here in front and this part's also not padded. I'm not sure why they would stop the padding right there. Maybe there's a reason. Just wonder if this is going to create a pressure point or if it's going to create a channel for a sweat to run down through. Um, I'm not sure. The uh, strap system is pretty simple. It's uh, just a basic uh, uh, you know, splitter right through there. It looks like it's pretty easy to adjust. Um, it's your basic uh, uh, same uh, adjustment system over here. It's got a pretty substantial uh, adjustment knob on in back. Um, it's rubberized. So you can get a pretty good grip on it. It's pretty much exposed so you can get to it real easy. It also has uh, multiple uh, height mounting points. I don't know if you can see right near the red sticker right below. There's just some notches where you can move it up and down. There's probably about a dozen notches there so you can uh, adjust uh, where the back sits on your helmet or the back sits on the back of your head, which also uh, really does is uh, determines how high it sits on your forehead. It gives plenty of adjustment there, probably more than most helmets, that's for sure. I think that's probably the most I've ever seen on any helmet. Once again. Uh, not a bad looking helmet. The finish is uh, pretty good. Uh, outside's uh, kind of a little bit harder, plasticky type uh, feel to it. 
Not too bad. Bottom of the helmet's exposed. This part's going to get nicked up a little bit, but that's a big deal, I guess. Let's see what it looks like on. Okay, this is the Laser Revolution on. Um, I say the fits uh, not too bad. It really fits in my head pretty well. There's, supposedly lasers are good for uh, people with oval heads. Uh, the ratcheting mechanism back works really well, and it tightens down your head really nice. Um, see, it uh, has virtually no side-to-side -side play or front-to-back once you have it on. Um, the shape of it works pretty good. A um, couple little issues. Um, it's a problem I typically have with helmets is there's you know, not quite a... They say you should have two fingers between the top of the helmet and your eyebrows. It doesn't quite work. Um, I can adjust it down where it sits lower, but it also exposes the back of your head. So, you know, pick one. So, really, it's, it's close enough. It's something I can deal with. Um, one thing I do have is um, the back where the adjustment is, it's a, it's a rather large piece of plastic and it does sit right up against the back of your, uh, uh, I guess the skin or your skull there. It kind of digs in a little bit, nothing too crazy, but it's something I wonder how it would be after on a bike for a couple of hours. Also, I can also feel a little bit of pressure from not having the pads right in the front there. So you've got the styrofoam right up against your head. It's not too bad, but... Uh, Something to consider. Overall, I've got to say it's a pretty uh, good fitting helmet. Um, definitely fits the shape of my head. Um, I just want to point out the visor has built in ratcheting mechanisms and it moves incredibly easy. Um, so if you had goggles, you can definitely put them in there. Imagine you can tighten the screws down so it doesn't move quite as easily, but I don't know if it would move much while you're riding, but I'm willing to bet it would. But I'm sure you can tighten down a little bit, but if you have goggles up there, they're definitely going to stay. One other thing I kind of wonder too is um, has this notch back here, which I gotta say looks a little bit, or actually it's right here, looks a little bit odd, but it actually, uh, your goggle strap fits right in there nicely and lets it sit right in there. And also when you pull it up, it keeps it from flipping over top of your head. So that's kind of a good feature. It kind of looks weird, but definitely has a purpose to it. So I gotta say it uh, fits pretty good. Okay, let's see what the uh, Laser Revolution weighs. Um, this is obviously without the uh, face guard. Also, does not include the, the mounting uh, screws, which are alloy. They're pretty light. Or the ear covers, or the uh, uh, blank plate that covers up the screw holes. So, let's put it on a scale. It weighs 457 grams, which honestly is not too bad, considering uh, it's a pretty uh, beefy helmet. Um, the claim weight, I'm not sure what the claim weight is. Uh, the sticker on the inside says 850 grams. That's uh, clearly with uh, the face guard and whatnot on it. I'll go ahead and put that uh, back on and we'll get a weight on it. Okay, one feature of the face guard, which I have off, is that the uh, cheek pads are detachable. Um, pretty Come off pretty easy. Just uh, There's just three basic snaps on there. Snap right off. I um, don't think it's something you generally don't want to uh, keep off while you're riding. It might be a little bit cooler, but it these cheek pads greatly increase the safety and stability of the helmet. So they, either way, they snap right on and off. So if you're climbing or something, you might want to. You could take them off and put them on before uh, you go downhill. Here we are with the helmet on. Got the chin guard on. I'd say it doesn't fit too bad. It looks pretty good actually. The, the chin guard comes, you know, uh, gives a good opening in my face there, so I can fit goggles in there. Sometimes they fit a little bit higher or low. Doesn't seem to be too bad. It's in a really good spot. Um, one other uh, uh, it fits on it pretty snug. It's got the cheek pads on her so it doesn't move. If you took the cheek pads off, it would rock like that a lot. Wouldn't be too stable with this much weight sitting on there. It's kind of a solid piece of rubber. Um, one issue I kind of noticed when I had that on as an open face is it would give me a little bit of forehead pressure right here because of the exposed foam. There's no padding on this port right here or the tip of the helmet. Um, actually a little bit more of a problem with a uh, uh, chin guard seems like it uh, causes a little bit more uh, issues with it in terms of fit for me that's uh, honestly it's not too bad but uh, you know sitting on here if I can feel a little bit after now probably gonna be a problem for me that's me um, you know it's uh, not too bad a helmet though if, uh, depending on your head shape I definitely give it a look okay this is what the helmet uh, fits like with uh, goggles on uh, granted they're not uh, you know, official uh, moto goggles, but they're ski goggles, but the shape's the same, so for this purpose they'll work. Uh, they fit in the face, uh, on my face rather well, they're not too high or too low. 
fit in the opening quite well, so that's definitely good. It's a uh, helmet fits deep enough where it allows to allows to sit correctly. You can see there's a, a little ridge on back, which quite frankly looks rather odd without goggles, but when you put the goggles on, you quickly realize that, that ridge does a lot of good. Keeps the goggles in place from the strap from flipping over top of the helmet. Which, you know, there's other mechanisms to uh, hold that, but it's not too bad. And it really becomes an issue when you want to uh, really pull the goggles off and put them up. You move the visor up, uh, just like that. Moves up really easy. You just take them off and it slides right up in place and stays completely out of your way. You don't have to wear them when you're climbing or anything like that. Uh, comes time to put them back down. They slip right back down. Pretty good. The strap stays in place. Pull the visor down nice and easy. You're ready to go. Okay. Put the face guard back on. To be quite honest, it's a pain in the butt to put this thing on. Their uh, screws can be a little bit tricky to get started. Um, and they're alloy screws, which I'm really not a fan of alloy screws. They are incredibly easy to cross thread, so you got to be really extra careful with them. And I'd rather have steel screws to and deal with a little bit extra weight. Speaking of that, see how much it weighs. With the uh, tags and such. I can get the balance on my scale here. It'd be a little tricky. It'd be really tricky. Alright, got it on there. 746 grams. That is much lighter than what they claim. They claim this thing as being 850 grams. And uh, comes in a full 100 grams less. That is something you do not see. Usually most things come overweight. But, um,. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, I just want to summarize the my thoughts on the laser helmet. It's a pretty good helmet. The build quality seems pretty good. Um, looks a little bit odd sometimes with a, not having the chin guard on, but you know the helmet's on your head. How much do you really see yourself? Um, one thing to note, I they do believe they do make a MIPS version. This one does not have MIPS. Um, liner's pretty good. Fits pretty good. I have a little bit of an issue personally with... Uh, having the lack of padding up here in the front. I'm not sure if that uh, really would be an issue. I'd be concerned a little bit with sweat. Maybe it allows a little bit of airflow. Who knows? But uh, it's a pretty good helmet. Uh, I'd say it um, fits overheads pretty well. Uh, evidently, lasers do typically fit ovals. Never had luck with uh, them in the past just because they sat too tall on my head. But uh, overall, this is a really good helmet uh, if you need a full face or an open face. But I... Uh, it's not something you want to change in the middle of a ride. Uh, it's one of those things I think you put on for the day and you leave it on all day or you take it off and you leave it off for the whole day. You know, fiddling with these alloy screws is not going to be something you really want to do on the trail. So overall I'd say it's a pretty good helmet. It's a good value. It comes with a lot of extra parts. Um, so if you're looking for a convertible full face, uh, you might want to take a look at this one if it uh, meets your criteria and you got a little bit of an oval shaped head. Give it a look. If you like these videos, hit like, subscribe for more. Got a couple more helmet videos to do. Have a great day.